Lisa Kelly unlocks the orange metal gates and then the double doors of a storage unit on the far end of an industrial building in the Northeast Minneapolis Arts District. Inside are hundreds of painted plywood boards. There are portraits of Floyd's unsmiling face, others of fists raised in the air. One board is pink with the words, Black Girl Magic, and another with the plea, Please Don't Hurt Us. These are the boards that business owners put up in the midst of mass protests last year after the killing of George Floyd. The video of Floyd losing his life while his neck was pinned to the ground by a police officer's knee sparked protests across this city. Buildings burned, police used less lethal bullets and tear gas on demonstrators. The city was in pain. There were a lot of complex emotions at play within people's bodies, Kelly said. All of a sudden, out of nowhere, there's this blank canvas all around the city and no one kind of had ownership of it. No one knew what to do with it. And so people just started painting. Boards that were put up to protect buildings from civil unrest became vehicles of expression for devastated and angry Minnesotans, a mural of this summer in art and words, 